How to create items in a list view or grid view in Flutter. Also sort the items alphabetically in descending order or ascending order. Let's start by creating items inside of a list view. Therefore, we create in our state first of all a list of items that we want to display on our screen. And secondly, we go to the scaffold body property. And inside of it, we create a new build list method where we create a list view widget. Inside of it, you define how many items your list has. So in our case, we take here from our items list the length. And secondly, within the item builder property, you build then with the help of the index each of your items. So we get here one specific item from our items list that we have here at the top. And now we can define how one of these items should be displayed on the screen. So we create a new list tile and inside of it, we put our item as a text inside. As a result, we have a list of items and these are exactly the items that we have defined initially in our state. Next, we want to include a subtitle and also an image to make it more interesting. And you can also tap then on one of the items and then we want to do something based on it. Therefore, you can create within your list style also a subtitle. And here I define another text widget, which is then basically displayed under the title, like you can see. And next to it, you can also define the leading property where we put then an image inside and we also make it rounded. Therefore, I create here a circle avatar widget. And with this, you see that we have here the image at the beginning of our item. Right now, if you try to tap here on one of the items, then this is not working. And to fix this, you simply go to your list tile and here you have the on tap property. So if we tap on one item, we want to call a new method select item. And inside of it, we put then the item inside on which we have tapped. So let's create this select item method. And here inside, you can do whatever you want to do with the item on which you have tapped. In my case, I want to show then a snack bar. And inside of this snack bar, we define then the text item that we have selected it. Let's try it out. I click on Lucas as an item and you see selected Lucas. I can also click on Emma, then it says selected Emma. And this is because we have now here displayed the snack bar at the bottom of our screen. Next, we want to create a button at the top right corner. And if we tap on it, then we want to switch to a grid view instead. Let's create within our state a new field, which determines if we show a grid view or a list view. So if this flag is set to true, then we want to display a grid view. Therefore, we go to our build list method and here we check if this is set to true, then we display a grid view instead of a list view. As you can see, the grid view is working the same as the list view. So we have also an item count and an item builder, the same as the list view. And certainly you need to set a mandatory property grid delegate. And here you can define how many items you want to display next to each other. And finally, we want to build this item. So we create a grid tile and inside of it, you can define the child property where we put in this case an image inside. If you hot reload, you see we have here a scrolling grid view of image items. And if you like, you can use the grid tile footer property to display also the item text on top of this image. So I place it inside of a text widget. With this, if I hot reload, then the name our item is displayed on top of the image. You could also align this name to the center. And we also want to tap on one item, which is right now not possible. Let's center first of all the item text. Therefore, we wrap it inside of a container. We set the alignment to center and optionally, you can also set some padding around. To tap on your item, you can go to your image within the child property and you wrap it inside of an ink wheel widget. And with this, you can override the on tap property. And here inside, we call then the select item method and put our item inside and the select item method we have created before, which is then showing here the snack bar. Let's also try it out. I can tap on an item and you see that the item is here selected at the bottom. Let's look again at the cross axis count within your grid view. So this is the value of how many items are displayed next to each other horizontally. If I put this value to three, then you see we have here three items next to each other. Also, you can define the spacing between each of your items. Therefore, you can set the cross and main axis spacing. As a result, if I hot reload, then we have eight pixels in space between our items that we have defined here.